I've been planning a video that I'm in the works on. To make this video, I've got this little adapter that fit with my Mavic 2 Zoom. As you can see, it's just an adapter that clicks to the Mavic Zoom and lets me put a camera that has a tripod, sort of like the Insta360 ONE X has. And today, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna take the Mavic Zoom and we're gonna put the Insta360 ONE X on it and see what happens. thing I'm noticing that might be a bit of a problem is it's not able to connect to the GPS lock at all. So we're gonna keep the, the altitude sort of low and just go over the uh, a little bit of the wetlands here. That's the thing with the Insta360. After you get back and you look at it, that's when you do all the editing with the Insta360. It's a beautiful day for flying. Feel a lot better if I had GPS lock, but I've flown RC planes and cars and done all kinds of stuff, and there was never any kind of GPS lock in any of those. I'm just flying in places that I know where I'm going, and I can get it back if necessary. It'd be interesting to see right now the comparison of looking at it compared to what can I do with it after the fact. How much smoother is it? Plus to see if it will actually give me the angle that I need for the video that I'm working on, which is hilarious, by the way. So it's pretty goofy looking having the Insta360 on the top. You can put a GoPro, you can mount pretty much anything that wasn't too heavy on top of your drone this way. And they make these things for the Mavic Pro Original, the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic Zoom. I even think they have them for the Air as well as the Phantom. Pretty much every drone line out there, you can find somebody making one of these for it. This is not something I do on a regular basis or something I would set up and just all the time do. But for this test, for the video that I'm working on, it's needed for that video. Pretty lucky today because it is just gorgeous out the sun is shining there's not a wind pretty much blowing day for me to test this new little setup out to see if it's gonna work for this video I'm making and this video is hilarious if you have not seen some of my funnier stuff in the past well this is gonna be one of those parody goofy videos as you can see by all the white stuff surrounding me I filmed that earlier video quite a while ago. The reason I dug it up, finished editing it, and decided to put this out is because I've been doing a lot of 360 content with the Insta360 ONE X and the GoPro Max lately. Not to mention that Insta360 has just announced a new camera that's due out soon. First, let me say this video test was a complete success. And if you didn't already see the spoof that I made, 
of a drone delivering a tampon, check the description below and go enjoy some laughs of a drone delivering a tampon. Just the other day I released a video about the GoPro Max using it in hero mode versus a gimbal and the results absolutely blew my mind. In the hero mode, it makes the 360 camera work more like a traditional action camera with two bonus features. One of those is that it has a super max field of view, which is even wider than the traditional GoPro super view that we all have come to know. And two, the stabilization in it not only compares to a gimbal, but it surpasses a gimbal. And the day after that I filmed that video about the GoPro Max in hero mode, Insta360 released a teaser video talking about their next camera. In that teaser, it hinted that the next 360 camera by Insta360 will also be able to jump from a regular action camera into a 360 camera. And the real kicker is that it's also going to be a drone. GoPro Karma, anyone? Maybe that drone was actually just ahead of its time. Back in early summer 2019, I was talking about how these 360 cameras and the stabilization that's being put into them is gonna be the future in so many products. The stabilization in these cameras is so incredible that the use of gimbals will eventually become a thing of the past. And now we can see that it's come to fruition. It's probably gonna be implemented in this next 360 camera contraption that Insta360 is making. Luckily, we'll know in less than a week. 2020 is going to be a pretty incredible time to be a video creator, and I cannot wait to actually put some of these new products that are about to be released out into the field and test them myself. Doing drone content, snowboarding content, action content, and not only using them to create videos for myself, but to then come back and give back to the community, showing you how I use them so that you can take them and tweak whatever I use to make something for yourself and your memories and your times here on this planet. If you would like to see me take the Insta360 and fly up with the drone and make an interactive video so that you can turn the camera around on a pretty day over the lake or wherever here in the mountains, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure I do that soon just for you. If you are new here to the channel, my name is Sean Oz and I like to share tips, tutorials with action cameras, drones, and other fun stuff so that you can capture your life.